Hello everybody, welcome to a new tutorial from Sound for More, it's Leo speaking. Today I'm going to show you how you can use send bus as a function to redirect or further processing audio from your channel strip into a different bus or multiple buses. Before I start, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe unless of course they have already done so as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. So let's start straight away. We are inside Loopy Pro and let's um, click and hold, move to move up and or slide up and let's import from the document picker a loop and let's click import. Also let's set um, the uh, playback settings here. You can open them, set them to none so we can start a stop that uh, clip very quickly. Okay, perfect. So let's go to the mixer now. As you can see, I have already removed the microphone or any hard additional hardware input. So let's focus now where it says here sent. There is a plus sign. So click on, on it. And if you click on new bus, you can see that the new bus has been created. Now you can achieve the same um, output or outcome. And let me show you in a different way. You just click uh, what it says here plus at the bottom right and you click on another bus and as you can see you have a new bus that has been added in this case bus b now <clears throat> the orange track or channel strip is already connected to um, bus a and for example you could also send that output to, to also bus b like so plus sign click uh, bus b in that case you have two dials which set the amount that will be sent to bus A and bus B. For the purpose of also continuing the tutorial, what I'm going to do, I'm going to disable the destination here for that channel strip. And so I'm going to deselect one plus two. So in this case, it will, it will be saying output num. So if I enable the clip, you will not hear any audio at the moment. The reason that you cannot hear any audio is that the dials here are set to zero and there is no output as a destination. So let's uh, increase the amount sent to bus A. So as you can see, the output was coming out from bus A because the send was from the orange track to bus A. Same would happen if I choose to increase the amount of output sent to bus B. In this case, the output will go to bus B. And this is quite nice because you can choose, for example, to have, um, I don't know, for example, you can copy this loop onto the um, yellow truck, and then you can set the um, destination, for example, on one on the orange truck or on two on the yellow truck. And then you can have uh, send those uh, uh, to different buses where you have different processes. That's an example. Or for example, you could say, um, I have the destination here on the orange truck set to but I'm going to have um, the um, bus A for example to output only on two and therefore you have different effects so you have a lot of different choices but again for simplicity let's deactivate the output here on the orange truck and let's keep bus A to uh, as output channels to go to both one and two channels. Okay, so additionally, let's add some effect pre-fader and also post-fader. So let's click on the plus sign here and let's add a low pass. So let's expand it like so. Works really, really nicely. And um, let's listen. Perfect. And uh, let's add another effect, but this time post fader. And this time, let's add the reverb. Now let's um, start the clip. And as you can hear, you don't hear the reverb. And the reason that you don't hear the reverb is, first of all, because it is set as post fader. And then if you click on the dial A, because we are using dial A for now, Click and hold, 
and you have different selection. At the moment, it's set to send the amount before theta. Therefore, it will not send the effect, the reverb effect, because that is post theta. Okay? But it will send the first effect because that is pre theta, which is the low pass. So you could also say send before all effects, like so. So you don't have any effects applied. So in this case, the low pass is not applied. Or you could also say after the fader. Okay, so let's try. In this case, you have the first effect, the low pass, but don't, you don't have the reverb effect because that is immediately after the fader. But you, could, you have also one last selection, which is after all effects. And in this case, you will, you will hear both effects. The one pre-fader, which is the low pass, and the one post-fader, which is the reverb. Let's try. So I think that is quite nice because it gives you a lot of possibility in terms of additional processing with uh, additional buses. And, um, you know, um, possibility as, uh, are unlimited depending on, the, on, on your configuration, really. Um, something else also I wanted to show you, which I haven't mentioned in a previous tutorial, is that if you click and hold on effects, you can drag them. Not only you can drag them to other uh, channel strip, but you can also drag them between post fader and uh, pre faders and vice versa, which uh, is uh, a very nice addition as well. So I hope you enjoy the tutorial. So now you know that you can use send buses and you have different option uh, that you can use to apply um, effects which are pre and post fader, which comes uh, uh, very Handy. You will agree with me with that um, Luby Pro has a lot of uh, nice and interesting functionality. Anyway, see you at the next video. Bye. <clears throat>